All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Millennial Classics. We're doing another um, reaction video. This time we're doing Family Guy. Best moment. Family Guy. Yeah. Let's get it. I mean, there's nothing much to say. Iconic show of our generation. Probably it's our Simpsons. Exactly. If we had to make a direct parallel. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, iconic family. Um, Peter Griffin. Everything. Doing the silliest shit in yep. the fucking world. The craziest family. Um, the hate that Meg gets. I mean, I'm sure that's going to be all over this. It's, it's, it's Sometimes it's like sad watching how bad they hate Meg. But um, yeah, this is Family Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a millennial, you know Family Guy. And not only let's do you it. know it, yeah, you understand it. Um, so let's watch. Let's get into it. With Al Michaels, Harold Ramis, Ray Romano, and Kermit the Frog. These zoning laws are infringing on the rights uh, of if citizens. If I might interrupt for a minute, I'd like to point You've out You've had your time. Let someone else I speak. haven't said a word. It was that guy. Don't look at me. I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, then who the hell's been talking this whole time? Oh, well, that's uh, a hard question. All right, now. If you're going to sell Stupid. honey at the farmer's market, you need to practice. So you be the salesman, and I'll be the customer. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, honey, like the sign says. <laughs> I find your attitude cavalier. May I speak to your manager? Stewie, come on. I'm sorry, is there a problem here? I was just in the back and I heard a commotion. How do we have a back? I simply came here to inquire about honey, and your employee spoke to me loudly and with profanity. Stewie, this is ridiculous. Ryan, please. I trust that this handsome, young customer knows what he's talking about. Oh, my. And I thought only bees pour on the honey. Hey! I'm going <laughs> hey! No, I'm just in town for the John Singer Sergeant exhibit at the museum. <gasps> really? I've been looking for an excuse to go again. Well, looks like I won't need that audio tour. Great, give me one minute. Let me text my fiance. Your what? Oh, this is going to be awesome. We just got to win this auction, and then we'll have our own castle. Oh, yeah? Over my dead tooth. What? Good afternoon and welcome to today's auction. I'm Al Harrington of Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Warehouse in Emporium. Great. Due to the presence of black mold, discarded half-eaten turkey legs, and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach, <laughs> I have been advised to move these proceedings along as quickly as possible. Do I hear an opening bid? Anyone, do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass castle facade masking what was once a Midas muffler shop? <laughs> Two, bits. Two bits. That's 25 cents in the Old West. We have 25 cents. <laughs> Do I hear higher than 25 cents? This paper bag, which could be full of money or my socks. You take the chance. We have an intriguing mystery bag. Do I hear more than the mystery bag? Two bits and a cardboard box, which may or may not contain a mystery bag. Already the most challenging auction I have ever been a part of. Do I hear a higher bid from that James Bond villain over there? 50 kroner. Which converted to American currency is seven dollars and forty cents. Do I hear a much higher bid followed by shocked murmuring? Ten thousand dollars. There we go. We can't afford that. Peter, do something. I can't. There's only nine thousand dollars in the mystery bag. <laughs> Due to my twelve noon court appointment as part of a crippling child custody battle with my horrific <laughs> ex-wife, I am saying going once, going twice, and awarding this condemned building to you. Our next spelling bee contestant is Omar Mahajarifa. Something no. September 11th. <laughs> Our <laughs> yeah. word is candy. So far, so far. Yeah, out of pocket. That's candy. out of pocket. <laughs> Why would That's you actually say crazy. That? Something September 11th. -y? Oh my God. Candy. C A N D Y. Candy. That's correct. Our next contestant is Peter Griffin. Peter, your word is tree. Can you use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> there is a tree by the lake. Huh. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? I like to bring transient hookers to the old oak tree where I asphyxiate myself at the same time I'm watching them have sex with each other. T-R-E-E, -E, hey. tree. Correct. That's... Let's see. <laughs> We're now down to our final two competitors, Peter Griffin and Omar North Tower. Omar, you'll be going first. Oh my God. Your word is coagulate. C O A G A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. That you could spell box cutter. I'm not <laughs> I'm Indian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, if you spell your next word correctly, you win the competition. Your word is lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? 
The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? <sighs> the two lesbians are going shopping for double-sided marital aids. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. <laughs> L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. Correct. <laughs> we now return to Slightly Too Early Comedy Club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Yeah. Yeah? They would have to kick that guy out, right? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Can you imagine waiting for a joke and someone just laughs? That's honestly worse than a heckler, right? A hundred percent. It ruins everything. 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 And the only thing I'm thinking about is the fucking uh, uh, the Joker movie where the dude was just like ridiculously offbeat. Off course. Just didn't uh, get and, anything. And I just want to say that those 9-11 jokes... <laughs> Crazy, because that was like ten years ago. Nine Eleven was still like fresh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the balls on the creators of this show. Yeah, <laughs> Muhammad uh, North Tower. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I bet you could smell box gutters. Man, why oh not? Why not? Right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans, and I'm like, "Honey, oh no! <laughs> wow, wow!" <laughs> The bride and groom have written their own vows. Oh, no. <laughs> Rachel, I love you. And today we merge our lives, our hearts, and our fraudulent home businesses. Mort, may my plantar fasciitis act yeah. like the roots for our tree of love. We will reshape our lives together, just as socks reshape my calves daily. <laughs> I am so happy to be merging the napkins in my pockets with the napkins in your pockets. Rachel, with you by my side, there is no Christmas display that I can't sue the city over. I vow oh to keep God. you nourished by filling our This is what Ky the Kyrie was watching. In the world <laughs> preparing potatoes and applesauce, just like nobody. And I vow to adorn our walls with only brown art from the 70s. Mort, we're two peas in a pod. We just go together. You are the plastic covering to my furniture. And you are the little spit bubble in the corner of my mouth. Jesus. Mort, you are my forever person. Oh. May we continue to have no respect for other drivers on the road and view stop signs as suggestions. And Rachel... You are my forever oh my person. Oh. And may my dead ex-wife's uncle's Netflix account continue to be fruitful <laughs> to us for many years to come. Mort, do you take Rachel to be your wife in sickness and in sickness? I do. <laughs> and Rachel, do you take Mort to be your husband in bad times and bad? I do too. <laughs> Out of I pocket. Do. I do. <laughs> Stewie, what's going on with you? I just found all of that very moving oh sorry to interrupt i just came to clear the search history off my computer before the it guy up oh, he's already got it boy you're really all in on asa akira way off pal Who? this is the only place i can masturbate jesus where's dad <laughs> it's office birthdays today at the brewery ever since your father was put in charge he's been taking it very seriously okay brian what do you got for me okay birthday jokes we may be colleagues but there's no one in your league Boy, that's a brick off the backboard. Chris, what do you got? <laughs> I drove the family to Disneyland for vacation, and when we got off the highway, the sign said Disneyland left. So we drove back home. Chris, that's going in the show. See that, Brian? <laughs> don't be afraid to pull a heart string. Peter, don't you think you might be putting too much time into office birthdays and not enough into your job? Come on, Lois. It's the one thing I look forward to at work. It's the one thing I'm good at. I am to birthdays what J.K. Rowling is to now problematic wizard stories. <laughs> Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, or trans women aren't really women. <laughs> oh, my God. There's two things. Okay, who's the next girl or boy? There's only two. <laughs> Honestly, though, that story cat would be out of pocket 90% of the time because I believe mean, that story cat must be like hundreds of years old. 100%. Also, those ghosts must say crazy shit in the paintings. Yeah, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. 
There's no doubt about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, those are just, I think this is going to be the first of many Family Guy best yeah. moment reactions that we do. Um, we'll catch you in the next. Please, re recommendations, suggestions in the comment section below. Deuces.